Hey everyone, it's Mr. Hoffman. Today we're going to be reviewing the lines and spaces of the treble clef staff. Um, this is something that I believe we have touched on in both classes, 5C and 5D, earlier on in the school year. But since uh, this is so important to what we are doing going forward, um, it's really important that we remember this now. And so we are going to review this tonight. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, first, you're going to be watching this video. Then you're going to read through slides two, three, and four. It'll go quick, I promise. You're going to do slides five and six. And if you get stuck, there is a helper, a reference poster on slide number seven. Um, so, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. All right. So actually, let's take a look at that right now. So as we can see on the treble clef staff, we have a whole bunch of lines and spaces. Um, and um, and a whole bunch of notes that go in those lines and spaces. Uh, the lines and spaces are the only two kinds of notes that are on the staff um, or above or below it. So we even have lines and space notes that are above or below the staff um, and we can tell uh, in certain ways. Um, so what we can see here on the staff or above or below, it is a line note if there is a line going right through the middle of the note. And it is a space note if it is not on a line. Um, so you can think of the line, if you can remember what the line notes are, the space notes are just anything that's not on a line. So specifically the ones that are on the staff are, uh, uh, for the line notes, we have E, G, B, D, and F. And for the space notes, we have F, A, C, and E. Yes, we do have E and F appearing in both the lines and the spaces. That's because as we go around um, with the notes, we can see uh, that the note names will reset. After G, we have A. After A, we have B, C, D, E, F, G. Back to A again. It resets like that. So this is just, we've just reset somewhere in the middle here. And now we have E and F, and we have F and E. Um, so anyway, uh, the notes that we have on the lines are E, G, B, D, and F. And we can remember that with a special phrase. Oops. Uh, and that phrase is, every good burger deserves fries. Now we're going to make sure, I know this is listed top to bottom here. That is wrong. It really should be bottom to top. Uh, we always will count the notes up from the bottom, uh, just like on the ukulele strings, we always counted the strings up from the bottom. Um, and we're going to use something called a hand staff to help us count, uh, count on the staff. Um, the space notes are F, A, C, and E, and I use this phrase for them, F, A, C, E, face in the space. So what does that look like on our hand staff? Well, I have my hand here. I'm going to hold this out. Uh, my thumb is going to go on top, and I'm going to let my fingers be the lines. There are five lines. My thumb counts. One, uh, sorry, one. Pinky is one. Ring finger is two. Middle finger is three. Pointer finger is uh, four, and thumb is five. Uh, and then I'm going to let the spaces between my fingers be the spaces on the staff. So that's going to look like one, two, three, and four. So pointing to uh, the lines or spaces with my finger and saying the mnemonic, it looks like this. For line notes, we have every good burger deserves fries. And for space notes, we have F-A-C-E, face in the space. And you can see right now my face is between two lines. So it is in the space right there, face in the space. All right, anyway, how do we figure out uh, if a note uh, or the letter name of a note? Every note, as I mentioned, does have a letter name as I'm gonna figure out how to clear all that. There we go. And we can follow this simple four-step process to figure it out. First, we have to ask, is the note on a line or in a space? For our assignment today, you won't have to ask that question because all of the ones on the one worksheet are for our spaces and all of the ones on the other worksheet are lines. Um, but we continue. Once you figure out whether it's a line or a space, we're going to count up from the bottom of the staff until I reach the note. 
if the node is on a line, I'm going to count lines only. I'm going to skip the spaces and just count the lines. If the note is in a space, I'm going to skip the, the lines and I'm going to only count the spaces. Once I figure that out, I'll, I'll get something like a number, like this note is on the fourth line or this note is on the second space or something like that. Um, then I'm going to count up the same number of lines or spaces on my hand staff while I'm saying the mnemonic, which is this phrase that we can use to help us remember. For lines, I'm going to say every good burger deserves fries. For spaces, I'm going to say F-A-C-E, face in the space. It helps if you kind of say it first and then count up. To, just to remind yourself, the letter name that you land on on your hand staff is the letter name of the note. So let's practice that with these two notes here. So this first note, this note on the left, is the note on a line or in a space. I'm going to say that that is on a line. And I know it's on a line because there's a line going right through the middle of it. Now, I'm going to count up from the bottom of the staff until I reach that note. So let's do that now. One, two, and I'm only counting lines. Three, four, five. So that is on the fifth line. Now, number three, I'm going to count up the same number of lines on my hand staff while saying the mnemonic. There are, it is on the fifth line. So I'm going to count up five lines as soon as I get that lined up on my hand staff. So get out the hand staff. I have every good burger deserves fries. Here I go. Every good burger deserves fries. That's the fifth line. Fries is the fifth line. Fries starts with F. That note is called F. Let's look at the next one, line or space. Well, I can see that there are no lines going right through the middle of it. There is only a line on either side. If there were a line going right through the middle of it, it would look a little bit like this, but there's not. So let's figure that out. It's on a space. And I'm now I'm going to count up from the bottom until I reach that space. So let me clear those last ones. And now let's count up from the bottom until we reach the space with our note in it. For one, two. So that's in the second space. Now let's count up two spaces on my hand staff. Get out the hand staff. I remind myself F-A-C-E, face in the space. And now let's do it for real. F-A. A is the second space. And so this note, oops, is called A. So that is the basic general workflow that you are going to follow while doing this assignment. Here are your directions. On slides five and six, let me just make that a little bigger. On slides five and six, you will identify each note with its letter name. Use the strategy that we just described on slides two and three to identify the letter names of each pair of notes shown. Click and drag the correct letter name from the top of the slide to underneath the note. Complete numbers two through 16 on both slides. I've done the first one for you on each slide. What can I say except you're welcome? There are exactly enough of each letter on both slides, so be careful not to delete any. If you have any left over at the end, check your work because somewhere along the way you messed up. And if you read that, uh, type any interesting fact that you know next to the pencil to earn a bonus point. So let's take a look at slide number five. So these are uh, space notes. So the only notes I can use are F, A, C, and E. Um, I'm going to do this, these first two. So let's dive in and do that. Um, so the very first note, we know it's on a space. Again, I don't have to ask myself whether this is on a line or a space because everything on this page is a space note. So um, let's skip to that second step. Let's count up from the bottom of the staff until I reach the note. And I'm counting spaces only. One, okay, it's on the first space. So let's count up on my hand staff. F A C E face in the space. F. First space, F. So that note is called 
F. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here and I'm going to drag that note or that uh, letter. I'm going to drag that down until it's underneath the note. That is perfect the way it is right there. So let's count now. Let's count spaces for the second note. Um, here we go. So we have that first one already. One, two. Okay, so that's on the second space. Let me do that a little cleaner. One, two. So that's on the second space. So let's count up two spaces on my hand staff. F, A, C, E, face in the space. Here I go. F, A. It's on the second space on my hand staff. So that is A. So I'm going to, again, click and drag uh, that A down there. And you're going to repeat this process for all of the rest of these. If you use this, the strategy that we've described here, it will go very quickly. Um, so don't think that it's way too much because you can do that. But let's keep going to the next slide. So for line notes, again, this is a very similar process, except we're now just counting lines. Um, and the mnemonic or the phrase is different, of course. So that phrase, uh, we can check on the next slide, is every good burger deserves fries. Getting out the hand staff, every good burger deserves fries. So let's do this. Let's count on the first, uh, the first pair. Let's count the number of lines or spaces. Oh, sorry, the number of lines here. So uh, this first note, let's count one. Okay, it's on the first line. Let's count on my hand staff. Every good burger, sorry, every good burger deserves fries. Let's do it for real now. Every. First line, every E. So I'm, oop. So I'm now going to come up here. I'm going to take one of my E's and I am going to click and drag. And there we go. That is correctly labeled. Let's do the next note. The next note is on a line, we know, because everything on this worksheet is on a line. And here we have one, two. I've counted up from the bottom, not down from the top, up from the bottom. And this is on the second line. So let's get out the hand staff. Every good burger deserves fries. Now let's check it. Every good. Good starts with G. That note is called G. So I'm going to take my G from up here. And I am going to click and drag. Another thing that you could do, um, you could select it and then use your arrow keys to bring it into place. I think using the mouse is faster, but whatever works best for you is fine by me, as long as it is clearly underneath the note that it should be labeling. Um, so that is all I'm going to do for you. You could do the rest of this. Um, again, if you follow the process, it'll go super quick. Um, so I believe in you. If you need to, you can always take a break and come back to it later, as long as it's not late already. If you have any questions, come see me in office hours. I'd love to help you with this. Um, or you can add a, a comment on Google Classroom. Have a great rest of your day. And I can't wait to see what you do. Bye.